Alrighty guys, welcome to the first episode of the Binding of Isaac Rebirth Completion Series. Now, this is just going to be a series where I'm literally just going to run right through the entire Rebirth game. I know Rebirth isn't the latest Binding of Isaac game, but it is definitely my favourite. And I just wanted to uh, run a pretty, a pretty chill series where, you know, every week or so I might upload one of these videos. And the end goal is to achieve 3 million percent. So uh, if you don't know what that means, it's just like completing all the challenges, all the achievements in every single uh, save file here. So let's just jump right into it, and I hope you enjoy something a little bit different from RuneScape. Alright guys, now we are probably just, oh, I just realised we don't have any of the characters unlocked because I have deleted everything. So we're just going to have to start with an Isaac run. Uh, we've got a missing heart up because last night I tried to record an episode and actually just completely forgot the missing heart. So it's up now. And I just realized I should probably move the camera so you guys can see the map. Give me one second. Alright guys, we're back. Made the camera a lot smaller. And uh, I put it down in the bottom left corner. So hopefully you can see the game a lot better now. Now it has been ooh, it has been a long time since I've played this game. Um, so I'm probably going to be a little bit rusty. Oh, balls of steel, that is really good. We have a bomb for this tinted rock as well. Give me some of that. Thank you. Now, if I was smart, and if the motorbikes outside would stop going past my house, that would be good as well. But if I'm smart, I probably should have saved those blue, uh, the soul hearts for the blue hearts. It's been, it's been a long time since I played this game. I would have been smart, I could have saved those soul hearts for after the boss fight, and we could have taken them to the next floor, guaranteed. Would have given us the best shot at a deal with the devil, but nonetheless. Alright, let's see what we got in our first item room. Is that Mum's contact? Mum's eye. You see, I'm going to have to get used to remembering all these items again. I'm pretty sure this does fire off based on your luck stat as well. But yeah, guys, look, the first episode is going to be a bit rough because I just need to, like, find my footing. Oh, yikes. I need to find my footing with how I go about recording these episodes and how I record these games. So it's going to take maybe an episode or two for me to sort of, like, find where I'm at and really almost how to go about the commentary of these episodes. Like, I know I shouldn't feel pressured to talk throughout the in Oh, I can- okay. <laughs> I know I shouldn't feel pressured to talk throughout the entire commentary, but I sort of do, but... I gotta remember that I... I can sort of take breaks in between it. And just cut- yeah, I think that's all the formalities out of the way, really. I just really wanted to touch on that. But, I mean, apart from that, we should just be able to kill Gemini. Which is one of the easier bosses. You can sort of, like... If you do it right, you should be able to sort of oh, fuck, trap the baby, sort of just up against the wall, like that, and you can sort of get a whole heap of shots on him without him really being any sort of serious threat to you. Ah, almost spoke too soon. Oh fuck, that was close. Stop, stop, thank you. Alright, are we missing anything? We don't have a bomb to go to the secret room. It's probably not worth hitting up the shop yet. We only have five coins. Um, yeah, I think we're done here. Oh, yeah. No, we're done here for sure. Okay, look, I lied. Formality is not out of the way. Um, I do want to start branching off into other games. Um, you may have noticed I did upload a little fontage. Um, I'm not sure when, because I'm only recording this now, but I've probably uploaded that fontage maybe like a week ago or something. Um, and I mean, it was, it was, wasn't really well received. I think a lot of people were annoyed about the fact that it wasn't, what is going on here? Can you guys come out of the rock so I can kill you, please? Hello? Riveting gameplay. Oh my goodness. I think a lot of you were, or not, not a lot, but some were upset that it wasn't RuneScape content. Um, and the thing is, like, I mean, as much as I love RuneScape, I don't want to only make videos on RuneScape because I do play other games so I really would love to make videos on other games which is what this is and you know what that fontage is like I'll be putting out one, uh, one of those fontages every month um, just to sort of mix up the content and add a bit of variety to the channel oh we've got a, a nickel from that or is it I think the dime the dime is the, the one that's worth 10 I think that's the nickel the five cent one So, I mean, look, if you're one of those people that, that doesn't like the, the, uh, the videos on the other games, um, I'm sorry. Like, I mean, you've got nothing to worry about because the RuneScape content isn't going anywhere. But I just, I want to start adding some variety to the channel. So, that's, that's, that's the reason for these new videos. 
and I hope you enjoy them. I really do. But yeah, now now that's all the that's all the formalities out of the way for sure. We can if if all of the flies could stop hiding on the rocks, that would also be great. God, come on, look at this. Holy fuck. Oh, pill? Let's take the chance. Okay, puberty, it's a neutral pill. Nope. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Tiny planet's not happening. No, sir. Let's try and kill this guy with the back of it. That was like the perfect room for, for mum's eye. There's another tinted rock. Small rock, please? Oh, well. Well, I mean, unless we seriously fuck up, we probably will be getting our deal with the devil. Actually, I'm not going to sit there and extinguish all those fires. We most likely will be getting our deal with the devil. So, is this a large room? It's not. Um, if I get an extra bomb, I might bomb open for the red chest. But yeah, that's it. We just got the boss room to go. I was expecting this room to be a bit bigger, but this floor to be a bit bigger, but apparently not. Classic monstro. Easy boss. Old school boss. Just like that. Almost too easy these days. Monster's tooth has appeared in the basement. Keep forgetting that we've completely restarted, so we're gonna be getting a lot of achievements. Um, Book of Belial, I'm actually gonna take it because we need to unlock Azazel. And to do that, we need to take three devil deals, so I am gonna take this. And we don't have a key to get into the shop. We might go to the arcade, actually. Let me quickly run to the arcade. All right, let's see what we can do in here. Mm, there are a lot of red hearts on the floor. We could play the donation, uh, the blood bank, the blood donation machine. I know there's a trick where you can, like, for every, every half health, half heart you take, you can actually hit the donation machine twice. I can't seem to do that though. Yeah, look, we can play it one more time. We may as well try and get some extra money out of it. That was a lot. That was six. From one one roll. Holy fuck. Oh, okay, look, you know, you know we're going back. I forgot about the hearts in the boss room. Oh, there we go. A portable blood bag. I cannot remember how this item works. Ooh. Oh, there's our key. Now, if we get another one, we're definitely going to the shop. Definitely. I oh, will take that red heart. Ah. These bony boys will... I remember when I used to play this game when I was younger. Oh, stop, stop. Oh, Jesus. They were the, um... They were the bane of my existence, those enemies. I could never figure out how to dodge them. Yo, does anyone watch Game of Thrones as well? I need to know. I need to talk to someone about it, because I just watched the most recent episode, which, as of this recording, is Season 8, Episode 2, and I am shook to the core. Punching bag. No. But I don't have a reroll. I have an eternal heart though. Which I'll take. Hmm. Oh right, yeah, that other room was a um a double key room, so it could be a dice room. Ooh, another perfect room for uh Mum's third eye or whatever it's called. Pretty sure it's Mum's third eye. Oh, look at all the money we can't get as well. That's also cool. <laughs> Looks like we will be getting another um, devil deal as well. Because this boss is very... Once you understand the mechanics, it's very easy to, uh, to defeat. Ooh, the, fast, the fast jumps, man. They still throw me off. Easy game. Squeezy, some free health. We unlocked Lazarus. 
It's the first character unlocked. And look, I'm... Mm, I'll get my red heart back because I have the eternal heart and this will unlock me as Azel as well. Lovely. Um, should we really do anything else? We don't have a key, but maybe we'll keep exploring and see if we can get a key and hit up the shop. It's a shame we couldn't get... Oh, there's a Tinted Rock there and I don't have a bomb for it. It's a shame we can't get flight because there is a lot of money just sitting over there for us. It's a real bummer. Oh, good. Good. Nice. Cool. We've got the challenge room. The chest could hold a key. Do we do it? We do it. Nice. Cool. Um, this pill can't possibly give us anything like key worthy. The only pill that could have given us keys is bombs are keys and we don't even have any bombs. So... I don't know, we might get a key drop at the end of the room. I doubt it though. This is shaping up to be a very powerful run. Okay, child's heart. That trinket, you know, I'm really, I'm working my memory here. Because it's been a long time since I've properly played this game. But I believe this trinket increases red heart drops. Oh, let's also see what this uh, pill is. Because it's going to be really good. Yeah, nice. Cool. See, I told you. Okay. Oh, we've been in there. Let's go. Dude, we've unlocked three characters in this one run. Look at us go. Nope, not worth it. Oh, run. Alright, we're gonna hit up the arcade, because why not? Mmm, we don't have a key beggar. We don't even have bombs to blow to blow them up. That's just annoying. Alright, we better get a key from this room. Woo! Stop. Close. Nice. Secret room? Fuck down. Woo! Close one. I should really turn off Steam notifications. I should do that. I keep I keep telling myself I should do it, but I never do it. Maybe I should drop the trinket because it might be decreasing the chance of keys. Come back to that room if we need to. Oh my god. <laughs> I just want a key. It's all I want. Alright, there's our key. And there's our bomb. Let's go to this challenge room because there was a bomb chest in it. There's another key. And two more bombs. That was very worth it. Oh, that was, that was dumb. That was just dumb. What you gonna do, Chub? What you gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna almost. I've got to turn my notifications off. Discord and Steam are just ruining this video. Woo! Ah, oh, this is a boss challenge room. I didn't even think about that. Well, let's see how much skill I've retained at this game. Oh yeah, nice, cool. Oh, tears up. Alright, that makes up for it. That makes up for that. Those couple of damage hits taken. Damage hits? Hits. Just, yeah. Just hits. Where's our item room? It's up there. Oh! F mm. Watch me die. Watch me die on this run. Polyphemus! Yeah! Rip fire rate though, but look at our damage. 18 damage. Oof. Look at this damage though. Mm. 
Yep. I mean, they are just flies, but still. Yep. All right. You know what? Let's do that. Worth it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, Gimpy's. I've I've always liked Gimpy. That sounded weird. But you know what's life without a little bit of risk? You know, especially when you're fighting Gertie. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. That's I was watching. The other thing, that's just not on. I wasn't facing that. Oh, you know what he was firing at? He was firing at the scapegoat. Mmm. Yeah, no, I'm going to die. Yeah. Oh, all right. Should we go to the shop? We have to go to the shop. There's probably going to be a soul heart in it. And I need that soul heart at the moment. And i got to be careful not to step on the spikes. Nice. We might as well put a little bit in our donation machine. Let's just put... Let's just put that in it. Keep 20 for ourselves. Okay, yeah. No, that's cool. Well, I'll take that! Ah, oh, it's clutch as. I'm gonna, I've got to, I've got to. Alright, I'm gonna, fuck off. Fire. Ooh. They're popping off. Let's just go. Monstro 2. Fairly simple. Alright, Rotten Baby is actually doing a bit of work at the moment because our damage is so good. Yeah, see you later. See ya, see you later. Get out of here. Ooh, yes, that all stats up is what I needed. 12, plus 12 damage. And I can't remember, I think this is just a straight, a flat damage up, so we'll just take it. Yoink. Yeah, plus three damage. Yeah, 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 I'll take it. Let's just rush, let's just rush this. Let's rush the, the next few floors. Oh, wait. We haven't even unlocked the chest or the dark room. I've honestly forgotten. We've unlocked nothing. So we're only going to mum's foot, I think. I kind of want a little bit more health though. I'm not going to lie. Alright, is that all that? Is that all the hands out of the way? Uh, yeah, it is. Okay. Come on, pop up. Nice. Arcade, tit it up. Um, Soul Art Machine, I'm pretty inclined to play it a little bit, actually, just because of where we are health-wise. Hierophant? Strength card. Mmm, yeah, okay. Let's just keep going. Alright, there's our item room. That's really, that's, that's comforting. Unicorn Stump? Horn? I'm gonna take Belial. Okay. If we can get a shop, there might be a soul heart for sale. Alright, that's gotta be a balls of steel pill. Wait, no. No. That's my impression of that sound. Oh, stop. Stop. Ooh. See, Rotten Baby's coming in clutch. Oh, fuck. There we go. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 the Dodger's the master! <sighs> Fucking hate these guys, though. Nice. Alright, be something good, please. Oh, doesn't hurt me, so we are good. Oh, there's our shop. Let's hit that up real quick. Oh, it's a greed fight. That's not good. Just kidding. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because we're too good. Okay, well, that greed fight was absolutely useless. So we're going to continue and hopefully just finish this run off 
pretty quickly because I mean all we have to do is really finish off the mum fight and as long as we don't ooh, as long as we don't die we'll be fine I'm working on my range you know all right let's not die what just spawn on me that's fair <laughs> all right we should be fine yeah we're fine I was scared for nothing his mother Fueled with the desire to serve her god, was bearing down on Isaac. I will do as I am told, my lord. I love you above all else, <laughs> Isaac's mother repeated to herself. This was the end of the line for Isaac. His mother was far too strong for him. But just as he accepted his fate, God intervened, sending an angel down from above to stop his mother's hand. And just like that, it was over. I haven't seen this cutscene in ages. You unlocked the womb. Challenge unlocked. The harbingers. Cuba mate. And the ball of bandages. Alright. That's going to do it for episode one, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um... Let me know if you are enjoying the mix-up of content. As I said, RuneScape's not going anywhere, so just let me know if if this is okay with you guys, because if it is, I really would like to keep doing this, just to sort of keep me sane, almost. Um, but guys, with all that out of the way, my name is Sano. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.